What if baldness isn't permanent? And what if the reason your hair hasn't come back has nothing to do with your hormones and everything to do with a broken switch inside your cells? Because in a recent trial, researchers found something that's never been seen before in hair loss treatment. Visible regrowth in just eight weeks, no transplants, no hormone blockers, just a topical treatment that flips a cellular switch and reactivates dormant follicles. Because hair loss doesn't just change your appearance, it messes with your identity. It hits your confidence and worse, the treatments we've relied on for decades don't really fix it. Most of these don't regrow new hair like minoxidil or finasteride. They just slow the loss. They might thicken what you've already got, but if your follicles are completely dormant, forget it. And that's the wall nearly every treatment hits until now. What most people don't realize is that those bald spots, they're not always dead zones. The hair follicle stem cells are still there. They just aren't getting the signal to grow. They've gone silent, dormant. Think of it like a circuit breaker that's been flipped off inside of the cell. No matter how many surface level treatments you try, if your internal switch isn't flipped back on, nothing changes. That's where this new treatment called PP405 comes in. It doesn't just work by blocking hormones. It works by restoring a lost cellular signal, which changes everything. This PP405 is a regenerative compound developed at UCLA, and it just completed phase 2A in human trials. But the idea behind it goes all the way back to 2017, when researchers discovered that hair follicle stem cells don't just stop working, they fall into a low energy survival mode. When these cells are healthy and active, they run on a high output metabolic state, kind of like your body switching from walking to sprinting. That switch is what allows them to regenerate and grow new hair. As we age though, those cells stop flipping that switch. They stay in an idle mode and nothing happens. PP405 changes all of that. It works by blocking a specific protein called the mitochondria pyruvate carrier, a gatekeeper that controls how cells burn energy. By shutting down that gatekeeper, PP405 forces the stem cells into a fast fuel burning state, the one required for growth and repair. In simple terms, it doesn't just support hair growth, it reactivates it from the inside out. In June, 2025, researchers at Hellage Pharmaceuticals, a company spun out of UCLA, released phase two data that got a lot of attention. They tested PP405 on 78 adults. They were aged 18 to 55, all with moderate androgenic alopecia. This was a double blind randomized trial. One group got 0.05% PP405 gel and the other got a placebo. Everyone applied their gel daily for just four weeks and then they all stopped. Four weeks later, by week eight, 31% of men in the treatment group saw more than 20% increase in hair density. In the placebo group, zero. And even more compelling, this wasn't just thicker hair on thinning areas. In some cases, the treatment activated follicles in completely bald regions, something no current therapy reliably does. And we have proof at a cellular level, scalp biopsies taken just seven days into treatment showed increased expression of KI67, this is a protein that only appears when cells are actively dividing. So we're not just seeing more hair, we're watching stem cells wake up and start working again. And here's where it goes beyond hair loss, because this exact same type of metabolic switching from low output to high output exists in stem cells across your body, in your skin, in joints, even in your brain. If we can flip that switch in hair follicles, Researchers are now asking themselves, can we restore function in other aging tissues? It's already starting to intersect with things we may have already heard of. Red light therapy, cold exposure, NAD plus precursors, intermittent fasting. All of these strategies influence mitochondrial function. But PP405 applies that concept at a much more targeted level. And the safety profile, so far, everything's looking clean. No hormone disruption no absorption into the bloodstream, and no serious side effects reported. PP405 is expected to begin phase three trials in 2026. And if the data holds, it could become the first stem cell-based topical treatment for hair loss. 
and the starting point for a broader class of regenerative therapies. We're still early. Commercial availability is like maybe three to five years away, but this may be the first real glimpse at what reversing age related tissue decline could look like. Not slowing it, not masking it, actually reversing it. So here's the takeaway. Maybe baldness really isn't permanent and maybe fixing it doesn't have to involve hormone blockers, painful transplants, or years of trial and error. It might come down to flipping the right cellular switch at the right time. If you're interested in aging, metabolism, and how science is pushing us closer to true regenerative medicine, subscribe or follow along. We've barely scratched the surface of what this approach could really unlock. See you guys next time.